streamers and the uh, pomp and circumstance. And this is the side. Gary Dowling, Neville Glover, Mick Cronin, Mark Levy, Graham Atkins, Michael Patterson, John Cock replacing Graham Murray at half, Ray Price, Captain and Locke, Wayne Woodward, Jeff Gerrard, Bob Jay, Ron Hilditch and Graham Olling. And the coach, of course, Terry Fernley. Well, Mark Levy, it was Gary Dowling and injury had this man, Levy, in reserve grade, but the return of fitness and injury to others has seen this very talented player grasp the nettle and snare a centre spot for himself, in which he continues to perform well each week. St George, and here they come. Brian Johnson, Mitch Brennan, Graham Quinn, Robert Finch, Michael Saradami, Tony Trudgett, Steve Morris at halfback, Rod Reddy, Graham Wynn, George Grant, Craig Young, Captain, John Dowling, Bruce Starkey, and the coach there is Harry Barth. Well, George Grant, number 10, knew he had to improve his forward play to hold down a first-grade spot. To his credit, he's achieved a much better standard, which, allied to his goal-kicking, makes him a very valuable player for Saints in 79. Referee in today's fixture, Mr Kevin Roberts. And away they go. St George with the first use of the breeze, running from left to right. And uh, they're in their traditional white uniform with a red V. Parramatta receiving the ball in their blue and gold uniform. The ball went dead. There'll be a restart from the uh, quarter line with a tap. Hildich Gerard. <laughs> We're very close to getting underneath that tackle. Hillich, Cock. Wayne Woodward, only a youngster in this pyramid side. Chucky build. Graham Olling. Storming ahead. Swinging arm. The penalty, I feel, against uh, Bruce Starkey. There's the signal. Yeah, I think he's told him anymore, and he's off. Mick Cronin to take the uh, kick for touch. And that's a beautiful kick in the uh, into the wind. You can see the strength of the breeze with that uh, large red and white streamer drifting across camera there. Robert Jay taking the ball on the burst, lost it, and a penalty. The ball has been stolen. Dowling was the offender, evidently, and a penalty at, to the Parramatta side. Cronin from midway between the... Uh, or 10 metres outside the quarter, and about 11 metres in from the sideline. The breeze right across and into him. He'll be aiming to the left hand upright, I would imagine, or outside it. Already with uh, 152 points in competition matches this year. And lo and behold, that stayed dead straight. And uh, no goal results. Drop kick. Breeze catching it. Dowling to take it on his quarter. Dowling the scorer of uh, nine tries this year from fullback for Parramatta. Patterson right through. Beautiful break up towards the halfway line. And over it. To his feet quickly. Price running from dummy half. Probably would have un done better to unload there. He had men in uh, support outside. Colk, Gerard, Dowling chiming into the attack. About a metre and a half from the St George quarter. Colk, run around with Jay onto Woodward. Oh, and he meets a wall of white defenders on the quarter line. Last tackle. They'll probably use the kick. It's been raked back and won by St George. Dowling was able to fall on it. Chalk that down as, a, as good as a scrum win. Graham Wynn, his brother, is sitting on the sideline today. We'll be talking to him, uh, or Barry Ross will, in the not too far distant future. Young turned that back into Dowling, and he's swamped. The weather conditions magnificent. Crowd massive. Wind strong. Fitch. But his pass away to Johnson. The fullback who's up 
in the three-quarter line frequently these days. George Grant kicking. The ground going and kick. It'll roll in over end. Won't go dead, I don't think. It's gone perilously close to the dead ball line, but Dowling has it. Brennan and Quinn combined to put him down. Cronin from dummy half. Craig Young in... Uh, Peter, uh, Graham Quinn, I should say, in there to complete that tackle. The ball's been lost. St George have it through Grant. Long, long floating pass got out to Finch, who did magnificently well to Johnson. Johnson's wrapped up only about... Uh, Eight metres out from the Parramatta line. A little bit of casual play from Parramatta on that occasion. Morris there on to George Grant. Steve Morris. Tony Trudgett. Back inside to Graham Quinn. Well tackled, right round the boot tops. Colt playing a number 14 was the, the man. Morris. Evades two. The pass has been knocked out of his hands. Gone to Patterson. Patterson unloads nicely. Out to Levy. Levy to Atkins. Atkins is round his man. Lobs a pass back inside to Levy who takes the tackle from Michael Saradimi. Patterson early. Saving Parramatta and making two longish runs. Very talented young man. Just on the quarter line, Parramatta's in. And the ball's been battered free with a dumping tackle there, which didn't do uh, Jeff Gerard any good at all. He landed on the small of his back. The ball jolted out of his hands. Very tough stuff. That looks like a St George ball. Morris, Trudgett. Here's the fullback in. There he is, Johnson. Can't get around uh, Mick Cronin. On halfway, Graham Quinn. Little John Colk hanging like a limpet to his legs. Craig Young, nice pass there to uh, Wynn, who came on the burst. That's uh, Graham Wynn, of course. Dowling, Morris, Trudgett. Mark Levy being treated by the Parramatta trainer. Levy down at the moment. St George still in possession, running from left to right. Ready. First touch of the ball, I think he unloaded. It's gone to ground. Parramatta have it through Gerard. Levy still being treated. St George a man short at the moment. Gary Dowling. Play about uh, 12 metres outside the Parramatta quarter. Price from dummy half steps and again makes a nice little half break. Pillage unloaded to Price. Gerard from dummy half. Back into Hilditch. He's almost his twin when he runs from that position. Jay unloaded but sold a dump. Gok got uh, wrapped up almost the moment he touched the ball. Patterson with a big dummy. Grant the tackler. That's the six. Levy only now to his feet and he's very staggery. Did you see that uh, incident to Barry? No, no, it just appeared to be a tackle. He's in a very bad way. Now there's a penalty to St George. Feet across against Hilditch. The Neville Glover saying he's off the air to bring someone on too. Glenn West on the sideline already looking to go on for Parramatta. Well, he certainly needs more treatment. Whether he should be replaced is another matter. But West warming up or walking up and down the sideline. The intercept, right pass has got it. He's tricking away. Can they catch him? He's up to the quarter line, evades one tackle, goes under a high one. Fine run from Ray Price. And he's got Parramatta on attack. Keep your eye on Levy for me, Barry Ross. Jeff Gerard. Pass back inside to Hilditch, who always takes the passes from Gerard. Trails him literally like a shearer's dog. Patterson, Colk, Cronin, Gerard, uh, Glover. Fighting the tackle inside the quarter of St George's end. Olling throws the dummy. 
unloads a loose pass. Glover takes it again. Olling, Gerard, elects to go on his own, swings it back inside. Dowling, Dowling, and pretty easy one. Well, they look easy, but me, that was well done. The swivel pass by Jeff Gerard to put Dowling, who's always ready to come on the burst in those situations. And there's the colours of the Parramatta side. Looks the replay. One-handed pass to Dowling, who found the channel right through the middle. Went through the Johnson tackle. With the greatest of these, and that, I believe, is try number 10 for the season. Watch Gerard again. Stood there like the Statue of Liberty. Dowling used his footwork nicely, and I think Johnson should have got to him. Cronin, who's already scored uh, 152 points in competition. There's another two. That's 154. He must be up around 200 with all the representative matches, even over 200. 18 yesterday, and I think 20-something against Queensland in one game, I recollect. Parramatta fives, and George Nil. Scrum is two all. Penalties, 4-1. Parramatta's favour. We've had exactly 19 minutes. Give you an error count in a moment. Score, Parramatta fives, and George Nil. Scrum only about uh, 20 metres out. It's a St George scrum win. Morris slips. Price finishes the tackle. Ready. And they swarm in and ready. Not going to give him an inch to move. Grant. St George looking anything at the moment, but uh, like a side leading the competition. Dowling, as Atkins with him, will probably take the tackle. Through the dummy and made another little gain of about 15 metres. Graham Quinn, the tackler. Well, that's a terrible pass. Knocked backwards. Cronin has it now. It was a very careless pass. Put uh, Michael Patterson under all sorts of uh, pressure. Woodward. There's the error count at this point, the halfway mark in the first half, Parramatta 7, St George 4. That's the number of times each side has conceded the ball back to the opposition. Five metres outside, Parramatta's quarter. Cronin, long pass to Jay. I must say, Parramatta do look infinitely the better side at the moment. Gerard, Cock, Hilditch. Not going forward at the moment. Cronin still got his pass away to Jay. Then out to Patterson. He's wrapped up, ball and all. <laughs> Penalty to Parramatta. 5 1. Cronin into the breeze and it makes a very good game. That's a fine kick over the halfway line. Well and truly, 12 metres. Graham Atkins. St George look lifeless. That's the word that comes to mind. Robert Jay. Pyramidus tactics running from the edge of the ruck. Trying to link and turn back into uh, people coming on the burst. Collision there as uh, Olling's body got in the way of the player coming through. Jay to Price. Atkins. It's been lobbed over the top to Dowling. He was looking for work like uh, nobody's business. Unrecognisable from the player that was going around with Canterbury the last couple of seasons. Jay. Dowling. Cobb. Patterson. Hilditch. Good chain passing. They're still moving the ball. And he got a straight to pinch the St George player. George Grant has it, he's lost it. Parramatta have got it back through Woodward. He's thrown a pass that looked marginally forward to Glover. He's beaten one man. Still going up towards the quarter line. And they finally slam him down about four metres inside the quarter. Up to his feet, plays it, goes forward again. 
Got St George moving backwards, but he's lost it. I think St George have come up with the ball. George Grant. Now he's a dummy half. Sorodimi, oh, perilously close to getting through the gap. Five metres from the quarter line. Craig Young. Long floating pass out there. Trudgett takes it, but had to reach way forward for it up to the quarter. Good defence, Gerard. Turn it back inside. Graham Quinn from Starkey. Nobody at dummy half. Oh, Grant has to kick it. Uh, Wynn has to kick it through. And gets the bounce. A freakish bit of luck. Unloaded nicely to Graham Quinn. Graham Quinn to Brennan. Oh, yes, he's going to score. All from a freakish bit of luck. That's come about literally through a bad bit of St George football. Well, Brennan can take the odds to uh, the credit for putting it down over the line and beating one defender. But see it again from its inception. And you'll see to how bad the football was. There was no dummy half. And Wynn had to kick it through and got that bounce. You wouldn't believe it. And there he goes to Quinn and then away to Brennan, who avoided the tackle. To Brennan, rather, and uh, underneath the posts. Well, rugby league's a funny game. You wouldn't believe that. I don't think I've ever seen that done before in 30 years of watching rugby league. Quinn positioned himself so well then and then the tackle made look very, very poor by the good footwork of uh, Mitch Brennan. George Grant. Over she goes. So then the score after 25 minutes of play, five all. We won, one must say, against the run of play. Uh, what a... Uh, Peter Wynn think of his brother Graham Wynn doing that to his team, uh, Barry Ross. Well, there's no brotherly love here, Rex, when Parramatta are playing. Graham was only saying just a uh, Peter was only saying just a moment ago how well Parramatta were playing, and particularly Jeff Gerard, but uh, he wasn't very happy with that at all. Have you ever seen that happen before? No, I was agreeing with you. It was shocking football. There was no dummy half at all, and maybe he should have fallen on it rather than kick it too. Well, I think he did, uh, uh, but he, well, <laughs> the luck's favoured him. Anyway. We've got a locked out situation at five all here with uh, about 14 and a half minutes to uh, half time. The try can frequently lift aside. Jay's been told to cool it a little bit for that tackle. Morris, Craig Young, Trudgett finds a gap and loads well to Morris, who loves this situation of broken play. They're not going to catch him. He's busted it wide open. Dowling's going with him. He's trying to put it, but he's not going to get there. And there's a set solo try from Morris and that's two tries to St George in about three minutes, two minutes anyway, 8-5 the replay it was this pass from Trudgett standing up in the tackle to Morris and you cannot give him any room this man, he's like grease lightning I'm amazed, I know Dowling's quick but I'm amazed at how well he did to stay with him oh fine try, from head on it'll look just as good Trudgett Craig Young the pass to Trudgett he gets his body through the tackle swings selectively to Morris looking for him obviously the little fellow may have called and look at this acceleration absolutely blinding speed and he's instrumental in lifting the St George side this year they look yards faster all around when he's involved fine try 18 points already fourth of the Tally, and that is successful. So then we've got a scoreline now, all of a sudden, changing around to 10 points to five, St George's way. 10 metres into St George's half. Massive crowd here. Barry, the ground record is? Uh, the ground record, 22,470. Uh, What's your opinion? Yes, I think it may go, it'll certainly go close to it, Rex, but they've uh, broken the ground records for gate taking. It's about 24,000 today already, regardless of whether it's a ground record. Patterson. Oh, got the pass away. It could have been good, but uh, it's come up with uh, a St George player, Starkey, getting to it first. Win. Graham Win. On the halfway line. Dowling at dummy half. Trudge it. The dummy. He's gone right through the gap. Got support. Saradini coming. He gave it to Saradini. Saradini's 
hit for a try. Great run from Trudgett. The Parramatta defence found badly wanting. They let him run. Again, look at this. Trudgett, the dummy to Reddy. They hung off, obviously, thinking Reddy was going to get it. He veered away to the left. Caught Saranemi inside. And that was shut the gate. Saranemi in for a try. Fantastic run as we watch this try again. Think about it. Three tries in seven minutes that George have scored. Now Trudgett weaves away, looks over his shoulder. The call went to Saradimi, and there he was. Grant with his third attempt at goal. Two successes. Two metres inside the quarter, about 18 metres off centre. No doubt about it. Up go the flags, up goes the score, 15 to 5. And blimey. You can't read this game of rugby league. That uh, brought St George undone on that occasion. Olling, although a bad pass. Oh, that put Cronin under a bit of pressure, but he's found a gap right up the middle. And going strongly. Up towards halfway. A good run from Mick Cronin. Pilich on the blind side. Price. Jay. Woodward. Dowling, who... Spends a huge amount of time in this three-quarter line. He's left the ball behind. Been knocked through. It'll be a starky ball for St George. He's lost it. It's gone again. Who's got it this time? Steve Morris. Yeah, it looks like Steve Morris came up with it, the little fella. Submerged under a body there. Couldn't see who he was. Tony Trudgett. Had a top game. Won my award a week or so ago. Crogan. Brennan appearing in the middle of the field again. He's had the ball stolen from him. A lot of changing of possession in this uh, windy conditions. Cock the dummy and he's through the gap looking for support. He should unload to Atkins. Atkins has got it. He's stumbled. Uh, he fumbled it rather and very nearly put it down. The defence now have got time to come up. Gets up and plays it forward. St George under a bit of pressure. A minute to go to half time. Parramatta badly need points. Gerard goes the blind side, throws the dummy, gives it to Dowling. Dowling looking for support. He's in a touch. He'll soon get rid of that boot if the ball comes his way, I promise you. There's the move and Price is in. Yes, indeed. That's the try they needed. A good switch of play between Cock and Ray Price, it's a hackneyed old move, but it comes off every now and again. It came off for Price in the test match, first test at Lang Park, and again it comes off. So there's a bit of uh, good, knowledgeable football and understanding between two players. Cock gave it to uh, Price, who then goes the blind side. Cock continuing to run the open, he busted the tackle, weak defence a little bit around the base, and Price goes in for a good try. From head on, now watch Cock. He'll continue to run the other way, pretending he's got the ball. There's the tackle, the ineffective tackle. And that lunge for the line. There it is. I think that was the hooter in the background, just as Price has gone over. Cronin just outside the quarter, 11 metres in from the sideline. Kicks, and it's to the left again. 15-8, back in a moment with all the action. The second half of Sevens, big league. Free gets them away for the second half, recapping the score. 15-8 in St George's favour. The kick's gone dead. One change. This man, Glenn West, has come on to replace Mark Levy. He received that heavy knock in the early part of the game. Glenn West was Mick Cronin's regular centre partner early uh, on this season. St George now. Morris, ready, win. About 12 metres and the ball's gone to ground. It's been picked up by uh, Graham Quinn. The referee says there's been a knock on. A high error count in this game from uh, both sides. 13 to 10 at half time, the uh, error count. Scrum would do Parramatta. Patterson. 5 8. Ray Price. Parramatta will need to strike hard. They've got a fair bit of work to do. They've got the benefit of this breeze. Hilditch through the gap. Patterson. 
Pillage. Cough. Brannan surging ahead. Made a bit of a inroad. He's got uh, about 15 metres out from the line where he played it. Bowling being told to play it. Switch of play. Up she goes. Robin Jay put that up. It's not a bad one. Price has gone. was onside, no question about that. Watch him fly. Now, up he goes. And pulls it down beautifully. Landed on his back but rolled over. It'll look more spectacular, I think, from head on. Hildich switched that back there to avoid uh, Koch being charged down. Johnson standing under it. Watch Price, the bearded one, coming through. Up he goes. And it's his hard. He lands on his back and rolls over to get it. Definitely onside, and that's a mighty blow. The parameter of the opening uh, minute and a half, two minutes of the second half. Brandon's kick is successful. So then the scoreline reads St George 15, Parramatta 13. Possession has gone 5 3 in Parramatta's favour in the set scrums. The penalty is also Parramatta's way 5 2. There's another scrum went to them. Cock goes the blind, then comes back the open. Price, straight. Always taking the ball forward. Patterson, the dummy. Dowling coming on the burst. They're awake to it that time. Gerard. The run around Patterson. Ten metres out now from St George's line. Gerard. Patterson. Cronin. Out to Glenn West. First touch. He can't get a pass away. He's tackled on the uh, fifth tackle only about uh, two yards short. It looks like it's a try. Go on, mate. Strength, I'm sure he got the ball down okay. The referee says he did. It's on the board. Let's see it again. Well, they didn't cover the blind side, they've paid the penalty. A good try. The head on shot won't be much more informative than that one, but uh, definitely a try. Brandon with his fifth attempted goal. Only about a foot in from the sideline. He's got the benefit of the breeze in this half. It may have fallen away a bit, Barry Ross. No, I don't think so. Still about the same pressure? Yes, it comes in bursts, actually. Sometimes it's much stronger than it was in the first half, and then there's a lull. OK, 16-15 is the scoreline. We've had uh, 14 and a half minutes of this second half. Found it up. Bit uh, on, but uh, the referee has not taken any action to it. Dowling drops it behind him, no knock on. Large number of errors. So slowly played that the uh, Gerard coming to take the ball had actually started to overrun the dummy half. Price taking a Devil of a long time to get to his feet. There's a penalty. Against St George. Trudge it. And Graham Quinn. Well, this can put uh, Parramatta into uh, a better position. 18-15, they can go if he's successful with his uh, sixth attempted goal. He's only had two successes. Three successes. So 18 points to 15. And a very much switched around game. Parramatta lead. Reddy's kick is just going to go the required distance. It does, and Pye answers the referee as Witt takes it just on the line. Brennan on the quarter line. Starkey, Morris, Craig Young straightens it up, comes back upfield, unloads 
to Brennan, who's not gone back to his position, but stayed in the middle of the field. About 20 metres out. Win the dummy. Trying to hurdle the defence with a look. Got a pass away. It's gone to ground. Parramatta have it. That was a bad pass. Much too late. Gave uh, Starkey no chance. Cut out the errors that Harry say. He'll have something to say about the errors in this game from his team. Dowling. He does his job well, gets it out towards the quarter line. Jay. Jay playing strongly too for Parramatta today. Hilditch. Back it goes. Cronin kicking tactically. It's going to be straight down Johnson's throat. Now, they need some of the Johnson magic in uh, attack and he's been... Uh, Felled over there, a player injured too. It's Graham Atkins, I think. Yes, Atkins ran into him apparently and hurt himself in the doing. Craig Young. Ready has not burst onto the scene in this second half as we so often seem. Morris, a little kick through. It's gone a long way. He's been felled. Well, there's a penalty been awarded to... Uh, as Atkins receiving treatment in the background. There's been a penalty awarded to St George. Well, the status quo is even at the moment. Young being treated and... Uh, Atkins being treated. There's Price adopting his usual... praying role, waiting for the rebound off the post, should it occur. Grant had three goals from three attempts. This is his fourth attempt. It's successful. Four goals from four attempts. Morris runs the open side. Cock picks him off. Halfbacks having a bit of a chop at each other. Gerard might be the man down at the moment. Starkey. If there's a stretcher going on. We think it's uh, Graham Olling. Graham Olling, and uh, he's in a bad way. Maybe a leg injury. All right, Craig Young. Morris, trudge it. He was carried a few yards by Mick Cronin. Ready, the dummy. Still going. Unloads well to trudge it there. The danger ones, the broken play up to halfway. Graham Olling's the man down injured. The stretcher's been brought on. He's been put on it. This is a disaster from a Parramatta point of view. The kick for touch is a good one. And uh, who are they uh, getting up there uh, in the Parramatta camp? Cliff Connor is the player. Cliff Connor. Number 25. Well, that's a tragedy for Parramatta. With a one-point lead to lose an international and a good player. They've come up with this scrum win. The scrum's going very much Hilditch's way today. Nine to four. This is probably his best performance of the season. There's the error count at this point in time. 17 all. That's a huge tally for a dry day. Ray Price. The crowd giving Olling a sympathetic hand. Penalty against Parramatta. Grant has had four kicks at goal for four successes. This is from almost directly in front. Three metres out from the quarter. One would have to assume he's got about a 80-20 chance of kicking this. Struck it beautifully. So St George have come up with... Another two-pointer through George Grant, and they've hit the lead. 19-18. What a game of football. Well, I hope the referee will be consistent uh, and uh, even-handed in that one. I'm sure he will. There's Atkins taking the kickoff magnificently. Just a report from the dressing room on Graham Olling. Uh, Rex 2, it's a knee injury, a bad knee injury, possibly a dislocation or a break. We don't know at this stage. Oh, well, that is very bad news. It's a penalty to Parramatta. Now he's penalised 
St George for well the signals appears to be dragging uh, let's see it again let's not go on the signal let's see what happened Harry Bath's gone uh, a pretty livid color over the thing let's see what happens this is the action involving Woodward so Cronin who's not got the credentials today anyway he's kicked uh, three goals from six attempts this is his seventh it's unsuccessful so the scoreline remains 19 18 and you would bet money on Cronin kicking a goal from there so when you're hot you're hot and when you're not you're not Well, we're still 13 minutes to go. Anyone can win this. Dowling evades one, two, three, four. And finally, they get him. Didn't make a lot of forward progress, but was calling tacklers to him and uh, shrugging them off. Glenn West. Right on the halfway line. Cog, Gerard. Bust them nicely. Hilditch, again, the number of times that Gerard will pass the ball and the man to take it as Hilditch would be uh, astronomic through a game. Gerard again. Connor, a dummy half. He's the replacement for Olling. Cock, Jay. Last tackle coming up. What do they do? Retain possession. They're winning enough through the scrums, or do they kick? It's Cronin going for a drop. It's a way to the right. And that'll be a restart from the quarter with the tap. So the drop kick on at any time, as far as both sides are concerned, I would imagine. Repeating the earlier scores, reserve grade, Parramatta 9, St George 6, under 23, St George 21, Parramatta 14. Morris, the Eels submerge him. He's only had the real, one real run. He's made another little bust now, up to halfway, got up and played it forward. Woodward marks him this time. Ready. Who's had a quiet game. Let's not put any finer point on it. He's had not the usual ready outstanding game. Touch it. Finch. Not received a huge amount of opportunities, as indeed as Graham Quinn out among the backs for St George. They've played it out as far as uh, Trudgett. Unofficial time. We think there's about uh, 3 minutes 50 seconds to go. Unofficial. 19 St George, 18 Parramatta. Four tries to Parramatta, three to St George. It's been the kicking of George Grant, who's kicked five from five. It's been the difference to this point. As, uh, oh, I thought it was the penalty. <coughs> Morris would be well advised. There is a penalty to Parramatta. He'd be well advised, uh, I was going to say, to uh, put the ball in and let Parramatta win it. Well, Cronin's been known to kick him from all over the place when the pressure's on. Is this the one? Is this the one? <laughs> An incorrect feed by Steve Morris. And, uh... The guillotine dropped. Now this is from five metres short of the halfway line in the middle of the field. He's been kicking poorly. He's had seven attempts. He's kicked only three. On that basis, he's not an even money chance. But there it is. It's hit the upright and stayed in the field of play. Would you believe it? We've had everything. Limey, Charlie, St George are blessed. 
Well, that should be the ball game. Unless St. George do something absolutely ridiculous, they could very nearly play out the six with the time at their disposal. Neville Glover being treated in back pay. Glover down. Morris runs to Dudley Hart. Gets to within 10 metres of the halfway line. 19, St George. 18, time just about up. As St George bring it away from the danger zone. Coming into the final countdown now. Perhaps a little over a minute. I again repeat, not official time. Both sides being told to come back in field. Glover to his feet. He's back in position. It's a scrap win to St George. Give it a ready. Trudge it. And that should be enough to get St George a win rather luckily here as it's turned out. They've had uh, four tries scored against them for their three. Cronin one of the very rare days off with his goal kicking. Fitch. I don't think we'll see daylight with this ball for the remaining time. Ready. On the quarter line, the uh, Parramatta into the field. Mitch Brennan comes on the burst, got a pass away. Craig Young nicely to trudge it. Glenn West, the tackler on the quarter. They're not making any progress. I don't think they're terribly worried. We think they've got about 17 seconds to go. Win, Graham. That's Mitch Brennan in the background on the ground. Well, there's... And another scrum winner, St George. And the scrums have gone 10-9. So there's the hooter in the background. St George have won the game by 19 points to 18. 10-9. The scrums have gone in Parramatta's favour, but that means that uh, Dowling won the last four scrums of the match. Very critical. The try scorers have been for the St George side. Brennan, Michael Sorodini, Steve Morris, and five goals from five attempts to George Grant. For the Parramatta side, Gary Dowling, Neville Glover, a try each. Ray Price, two tries. And Mike Cronin, three goals from seven attempts. I'm taking it.